Hey guys, what is up? Gold Glove here, and I am back from PAX Prime 2012. Just got back a little bit earlier. It, it's actually 2 p.m. right now, but it feels like it's it's about 5 or 6 p.m. I think it's because we woke up at like 7 a.m. to catch our flight from Seattle back to Los Angeles, and um, now I just feel I feel very tired. I'm exhausted. It's Sunday, kind of a, a lazy day, but we got to go to PAX. We got to see a bunch of cool stuff. And uh, I want to talk about it in this video. So, a lot of you guys left me some comments telling me to check out some games. I got to check out a few games, really not as many as I would hope, or as I hoped for. Apparently, War Z was there. Um, you know, that is the other uh, type of zombie survival game that's going to be coming out. Um, unfortunately, I did not get to even see the gameplay, but there is apparently a gameplay video for it, which I will link down below in the description. You guys can check it out. It looks kind of cool. Um, I don't really like the conversation, uh, like the mock conversation that the two developers or whoever they got to do the video uh, made. It seems really just robotic and just kind of silly. Um, but they're trying to kind of show off the co-op co -op aspect of War Z, and uh, you're able to see some alpha gameplay. So, um, other than that, I got to play, uh, I got my hands on Gears of War Judgment, Loadout, um, Defiance, uh, and a few other games. Hopefully, I'll be able to think of them when I think of them. Uh, but first off, so Gears of War Judgment. So what you're probably watching is some uh, loadout gameplay. It is a game that um, uh, you guys probably know Arctic. He's a pro Gears of War player. Or he's a former pro Gears of War player. He is now the uh, community manager for uh, I think I think is it Reality Edge Edge Reality. Why do I feel like it's the other way around? Anyway, uh, for the uh, developers or he's the community manager for Loadout. So uh, that is the game they have been that has been in development. That is the game they have created, and I got my hands on. I got to play about four games when I was at PAX, and holy shit, this game is a lot of fun. The developers even said themselves that it's kind of like Looney Tunes directed by Quentin Tarantino, which is a perfect example. It's a very bloody, gory, uh, kind of cartoon, uh, kind of art style. It's very fun to play, um, and I am super excited to get my hands on it. I'm going to be in the closed beta, but I am allowed to post video footage, so that's what you guys are watching right now. Um, but other than that, I got to play some uh, Gears of War Judgment. I got my hands on. It was a free-for-all match, and it was uh, it was interesting to say the least. Um, I unfortunately did not. Uh, I wasn't able to get my hands on you know not that much of it. I, I got to play one match, and I, I was too busy the rest of the time to go back and get another uh, game in or two. And so I got to play one match, and in that time, um, so basically when you spawn in in free-for-all, you do not. I, I think they're going to be adding this in later. But there was no Nasher shotgun on your body. All you had was a Lancer and a pistol. And um, the controls, uh, like for you know, for people who are really hardcore into the Gears of War scene, the controls are obviously going to be different. And you're gonna, it, it's gonna get some, you know, take some time getting used to. But once you get over the uh, control change, I think it's gonna be a lot more fast-paced uh, action. You know, you're gonna have that offhand grenade throw. Which I didn't know you would spawn with frag grenades, but you do. You spawn with one frag grenade. Uh, you know, you have the offhand throw, you have the Y button to change weapons now, which, uh, and, and changing weapons and picking up weapons is probably like 10 times quicker than it used to be, which I really, really like. You know, all of a sudden you're, you're lancering somebody and, uh, your clip's about to run out, you press Y, you switch to that pistol and you finish them off. Um, there was no downs, so there was no down but not out. Uh, people were just falling over, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that, that was because it was a free-for-all match and you don't have teammates to revive you. Um, I didn't get shot by a uh, sawed off, but I do know that sawed off is in the game. Um, but they are all pickups, so the sawed off, the retro lancer, and even in this free for all match, the Nasher shotgun was also a pickup. I got to use the breach shot sniper rifle, which is really cool. That's the uh, new bolt action sniper that's coming out in Judgment, and uh, that was actually a lot of fun to use. I'm it, it's it's much more difficult than you think um, because it's basically just hip firing the whole time. So, um, you know, I wasn't really in my comfort zone, you know, it was kind of, I was, it wasn't my setup, I didn't have my controller, you know, so I, I honestly didn't do that well, but um, other than that, it was, it was a lot of fun, I picked up a regular sniper, I think I got a couple headshots with it, uh, sniper, so the sniper in Gears of War Judgment, the long shot is pretty much the exact same as in um, Gears of War 3, but they have a fading um, reticle, 
So when you, let's say you zoom in, you zoom out, you're gonna have a fading reticle in the middle of your screen. So blind firing is going to be a lot more uh, eminent. Like people are gonna be able to do it a lot more often. And so that'll be kind of cool to see in Judgment. I think that'll kind of add a little bit, uh, you know, for the people who couldn't really grasp how to necessarily use the sniper, I feel like this is gonna help them a lot. And uh, it might bring in a larger fan base for the Gears of War community. And that is what I'm hoping for. I hope this game brings in a whole new, you know, generation of Gears heads. I really hope that that happens. And, uh, you know, when I get my hands on, uh, hopefully I'll get some more hands on the game in the future. I'll be sure to let you guys know what I thought. Uh, Defiance was a cool, very, very cool game. Um, basically, I, it was like a TF2 styled game. Um, I think it was six, or apparently it's an MMO and uh, they had a PvP section that they were kind of using as a demo uh, at, uh, at PAX. And so that was what I played was the PvP aspect of it. It was a lot, it was a lot of fun. It was so crazy. Um, it was just, it was like a, a more realistic uh, Team Fortress 2. Uh, there was a lot of, you know, there was just some crazy alien weapons. It was just really fast paced. There was these abilities that each character or different classes had. And uh, it was a whole lot of fun. I think it's even on a live stream uh, with FN Media or Tryon. Um, we were on the front page of Twitch and they were live streaming us playing it when we were at PAX, which was a lot of fun. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, that was a pretty cool game. So, those are kind of the main games that I was able to see. Um, I, uh, I really wanted to see other ones. Unfortunately, I just didn't have the time. I was super busy doing other stuff. But, uh, and if you guys have any questions about any other games that I may have seen that I just can't recall for some reason, let me know. Uh, but the games that kind of stuck out for me were Defiance, Load, and Loadout. Those were the two that were kind of my favorite from PAX. Um, I enjoyed them a lot. And I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. If you guys want to see some more, if you guys want to find out, uh, what else we did at PAX, uh, maybe I'll make some vlogs on it or I'll make another video. But basically, we just had a good time, hung out with our friends enjoyed had one rough night maybe we'll talk about that later <laughs> but if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to give it a like i love you guys i'm glad to be back i'm gonna be making out i'm gonna be making i'm gonna be making out with you i meant making more videos not making out maybe i'll be making out with my microphone maybe that's what i'm doing right now verbally making out with your face all right i love you guys and i will talk to you guys later bye <laughs>